creating color into your fondant, you can also apply interesting color effects using various color mediums. The great thing about fondant is it's pretty durable, whereas if you're working with royal icing or buttercream, you're going to have some limitations. With fondant, you could actually paint on it, you could do an airbrush effect, or you could use edible dust to add some color. So we're gonna start with our painting technique. Some of the things that you'll need for this technique is you'll need a decorator brush. You wanna make sure that this is food safe. You don't wanna grab your old arts and crafts paint brush. I'm also gonna be using some lemon extract and this is what we're gonna to use to mix with our color gel. The reason we're using the lemon extract is because it will actually evaporate very quickly so it's not gonna end up making our fondant sticky. I've got some toothpicks that I'll use to apply the gel, and then I'm gonna use a medicine dropper to actually get out the lemon extract. This is gonna help me control the amount that I'm gonna be using. That way, instead of tipping, it's not gonna come out too much. Now, you really just need a small amount here. I'm gonna start with a teal color. And then I'm going to use my paintbrush to actually mix this up a little bit. And now I'm going to take my cookie and I'm just going to brush some strokes. Now this is sort of a more um, defined stroke that I'm doing because I haven't really diluted my paint too much. Another effect, if you want to get more of a washed out look, you can dilute your color a little bit more. And I'm going to add another color just to show you what a pretty watercolor effect you can get with this technique. When you're combining colors, you want to make sure when you switch colors that you rinse off your brush with a little bit of water. I'm just going to mix in the pink. I'm going to add just a little more extract to the pink because we really want to have a washed out look. And you can see the difference here compared to the defined lines that I did with the blue. You could actually cover your whole surface with this effect. You could kind of layer a little more color on. You'll get a real pretty effect if you combine colors with this look. So these are just a couple of very simple designs that I did. If you're a painter, you could get really intricate putting layers on by switching out your brushes. You can have a lot of fun doing this. To add just a touch of color to your fondant, you can use either pearl dust, which is going to give you a pretty shimmer effect, or you can use color dust, which is gonna give you more of a matte effect. I'm gonna start with the pearl dust. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my dish here. And we're actually going to use this dry. I'm going to take my Food Safe Decorator brush and just put a little dust on there. And I've got some flowers that I'm just going to apply the pearl dust over the whole surface. It's just a quick and easy way to add a real pretty effect to your flower. Then I'm gonna take the color dust and you can see how this is a little bit different from the pearl dust. It's got that matte effect. And on another flower, instead of coloring the whole flower, I'm gonna do more of a shading effect. And I'm just gonna bring out some color from the center of the flower. And there you go. 
You can also get a metallic look by adding a little lemon extract to the pearl dust. So I'm going to mix in a little extract here. And I'm using the medicine dropper so I can control how much extract I'm adding. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. You want this to be a pasty consistency. And we'll try this on one more flower, just so you can see the difference. And now you can see how you can get the three variations using edible dust. If you're looking to add some quick color or get an airbrushed effect, you can use the Color Mist spray. It comes in a variety of colors, including gold and silver for a metallic effect. It also comes in a pearl to give you a nice soft shimmer. When you're using the Color Mist, it does tend to get your clothes dirty. It helps if you wear an apron. You might also want to cover your surface with either wax paper or parchment paper just to protect your surface. To use the color mist, you want to always shake it up first, and you might even want to have a piece of paper towel or a piece of parchment paper to just do a test on before you actually apply it to your tree. That way you'll be able to figure out exactly where to position the can. I'm going to start by doing just a very fine effect, so I'm going to hold the can maybe about 12 inches away and just give it a nice little mist. When I was spraying this circle, I noticed that some of the blue mist was caught on my other cutout. So what you might want to do is just make sure all of your decorations are spaced far enough apart so you don't get color on something you're not ready to get color on. Now I'm going to show you how you could do a more saturated look. So you're going to want to position your can a little bit closer, maybe about six inches away. You want to make sure that you don't overspray because then it can make the fondant a little bit sticky. Just to show you another effect, I'm going to take some silver so you can see how you can achieve a metallic-y look. For the first one, I'm going to do it far away so it's more of a light spray. And now I'll show you the more saturated look with my other cutout. Position it about six inches and there's the difference. You're going to want to make sure that you let your pieces dry before you transfer them. It doesn't take long at all to let these dry, maybe just a couple of minutes. So here we have our final projects, three different effects, but they're all so simple to do.